Hello, everyone, and welcome to week eight of History 311 Online. This week, we take a closer look at America during the 1920s, a decade that is usually remembered in the public's mind as the Roaring Twenties, the time of jazz, Hollywood, Babe Ruth, Prohibition, cultural fads, and of course, flappers, women who dared test the boundaries of social norms and respectability with their jazzy haircuts, short skirts, and Charleston dancing gyrations. In other words, the 1920s, as one writer at the time put it, an age of wonderful nonsense. But there is another less fondly remembered aspect of the 1920s, another facet of that decade that reveals as much or more about America's fascinating and often conflicted psyche as the Charleston or Clara Bow. It concerns the ongoing impulse from World War I toward nativism in the 1920s and the deep suspicion of everything that modern life seemed to bring, from science and secularism to immigrants and urban culture. Just as Americans were celebrating great leaps forward in business and technology, whether delighting to the tunes emanating from their radios and enjoying a Sunday drive in their new automobile, other Americans were warning about the loss of traditional moral values, religious piety, and racial purity. This other side to the Roaring Twenties, often wrapped up in fundamentalist Christianity, was just as uniquely American as the flapper and the gin joint, but had deeper roots in the country's past. We describe it with the term nativism, which captures not only the fear of all things foreign, including immigrants, but the obsessive fear of almost everything else associated with modernity, including such foreign ideas as Darwinian evolution, anarchism, and interracial marriage. Even prohibition, it seems, was more than just the backdrop to bathtub gin and speakeasies. It was a deeply nativist response to the fear of German influence during World War I and the belief that German immigrants had built a brewing industry in this country that turned fathers into alcoholics and broke up happy homes. Famous trials such as the Sacco Vanzetti murder trial and the anti-evolution Scopes trial were referenda on the future direction of America, even as they added to the cultural hoopla and sensationalism of the age. Pay attention to these more sober undercurrents of the Roaring Twenties, the views on immigrants, the fundamentalist religious imperatives, and the cultural attack on science, etc., and ask yourself whether they are still a part of our culture and politics today, and if so, what issues have been translated to uh, embrace them. They are, after all, just as embedded in the fabric of America as the more progressive viewpoints with which they have so often conflicted. I will continue grading work throughout the week, and you may see new scores in your gradebook. If you don't, it just means I'm working my way toward you, and I'll get there as soon as possible. As always, I appreciate your patience and understanding of how labor-intensive the job of reading, scoring, and commenting on your work can be. But it's my hope that you find my feedback useful in improving the quality of your work and historical analysis from week to week. If you have questions, do not hesitate to get in touch with me. Have a great week, everyone.